Hello it explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video to the YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are introducing and visiting the city of Harare. For those of you who don't know Harare, the next time you plan to visit, you will know this amazing African city like never before seen. We shall also explore in details some characteristics of this interesting city and the next time you visit, you are armed with more information. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. But allow me to introduce to you Zimbabwe, as Harare is the capital city of Zimbabwe. Situated in Southern Africa, Zimbabwe is bordered by South Africa, Zambia, Botswana, and also Mozambique. Prior to receiving independence from the British colony in 1980, Zimbabwe was known as Rhodesia. Mining and agriculture are the key business industries in the economy of Zimbabwe and its natural resources include coal, platinum, asbestos, gold, chrome, diamond and iron ore. The country of Zimbabwe is a delightful destination and some of its most acclaimed tourist attractions include Victoria Falls the many game parks and the great Zimbabwe ruins, amongst others. Founded in the late 19th century as Salisbury, Harare is now the vibrant heart of Zimbabwe's cultural and social and also economic world. The capital's cosmopolitan population reflects the city's rich history and provides visitors with a warm welcome. If you are new to this channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. We have done a video with regards to visiting Zimbabwe. We will encourage you to check that also on our YouTube channel. After independence, the city of Harare grew quickly and also the city center is now a fascinating mix of the old and the new where you will find gleaming office blocks and also towering over 100 years old churches in different architectural designs. It is a city of modern buildings, wide tall faces you could find and also very attractive. Numerous parks and gardens are scattered across the city. Harare is a city whose streets are lined up with flowering trees and also a wonderful and invigorating climate. For those of you who have visited this city and who have been there on stoppage, you will clearly understand the hospitality with regards to this amazing African city. Looking out to the north of the city lies the low density suburbs, which are home to shopping malls, restaurants, embassies and most of the city's most exclusive neighborhoods in this particular area as well. As we have pointed out looking at this particular area, this is where most visitors spend their time now and their time also will include in doing different activities amid wide tree-lined streets and also ever-growing number of excellent coffee shops and also international restaurants. However, it does have some very international hotels that are scattered across the city. It is a vibrant African city and very attractive in different ways. Life as it is for the vast majority of Harare population can be seen in the southern part of the city, where you are looking at the center to Mbare, a sprawling area of markets, housing, which is a permanent hub of activities. For some time now, for a long time, Harare has been used by tourists from all over the world as a transit point for safaris in the rest of the country. However, this is changing really rapidly. It should now be seen, Harare we are talking about in this case, as a destination in itself with a huge range of entertainment, cultural and also sporting activities. If you are new here, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Harare has also been a strategic city looking at in Zimbabwe. Harare is the capital of Zimbabwe's uh, 
uh, most dynamic if you want to point that compared to other cities like Bulawayo and the rest. It is on the edge of the landscape, Harare's Garden, the National Gallery of Zimbabwe. It has a large collection of African contemporary art and also traditional pieces like baskets, textiles, jewelry, musical instruments and a whole lot of things for those of you who plan to visit. It is a business hub as well, does attract businesses from around the region and also for those international companies that are having their regional offices there, especially those companies from South Africa. The unusual granite formation of the beautiful Harare Empwap balancing rocks in the southeast of the city. Wildlife such as the zebras and also giraffe room in the Mukunzi for those of you know is pronounced as Mukuvusi woodlands. It's an interesting place to visit and which has bikes part and also bird park as well. It will see that Harare will attract you. It is an elevation of uh, just over uh, 1,490 meters looking at Harare. It is an area that covers of just over 960 kilometers square looking at the entire city. It is a tropical city to the point out you're expecting temperatures at around 22 degrees uh, moving forward. And uh, so far, the population of Harare is considered to be uh, just over close to we say at about uh, just over 1.7 million uh, people uh, that was based on uh, figures which are still in census at the moment um, there are different things that you could do while you visit if you plan to be in Harare yourself and also to see things yourself do not leave Harare without you checking on the following areas it is a vibrant city that will attract you you could go to the wildlife which is the Grand Zimbabwe and in that particular area you will be able to see the sanctuary and other things that will wow your experience while you are in this beautiful city. You can go to Teford Game Reserve which will also give you a clear understanding as to the beauty of this African city. Something more you could do. You can go to the National Botanic Garden uh, which you will see indigenous and also exotic plants that will wow your experience in this African city. It's located just four kilometers north of the city of Harare and uh, deep into the suburb of Alexandra Park, the beautiful National Botanic Garden uh, will wow your own experience. For those of you who are going to Harare for the first time, it's always wise to visit the National Heroes Accra. It's a shrine for liberation for war fighters. That's an interesting place for you to check on. More importantly, for those of you who go further, may want to go into if you're an animal lover, the big game and the reptiles. The lion and cheetah parks is a favorite for locations and tourists who want to see in de greater details this beautiful city. You can also go to the country club cart where you get to see some new stuff with regards to how Zimbabwe, Harare in particular, will wow your experience. Finally, you could also go to, we've mentioned that Mukuvizi Woodlands, uh, which is located just five kilometers away from the heart of Harare. The Mukuvizi Woodlands will give you a real and thrilling taste of the African wild. That's an interesting part. Also, uh, you may want to check um, the Chapungu Sculpture Park. Uh, these are some interesting things. And also, it's a Zimbabwean famous stone sculpture. Some of the other things you could go to the Museum of Zimbabwean History that will blow your mind and give you a clear understanding as to the amazing futures that Harare has to offer you. If you are new to our channel, we would encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. That's all what we got for you with regards to visiting Harare. Hopefully, you plan to make your visit to this beautiful African nation and to this interesting African city. For those of you who have never been, we we'll encourage you to check out Harare. In the future, we're going to be bringing you some other great episodes with regards to the country of Zimbabwe. But today, our focus was introducing Harare to you. It is a vibrant African city, beautiful architecture, very interesting things to do, and also international kissing, multicultural, regional, and also international, a mixture of different cultures. It is a beautiful city to check out. So we want to thank you for watching with us. Hopefully we're looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode 
we encourage you to watch our other videos on our YouTube channel. For now, thank you very much. We're looking forward to meeting you again soon. And let us know if you've ever been to Harare. We would like to know what your experiences were. If you plan to visit Harare, we would encourage you to check out also with some travel agencies. But if you could do that yourself, that's fine. Let us know what your experiences will be after you return. For now, thank you very much again. We're looking forward to meeting you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.